My name is Pedro, and I am the writer-director of Age of Consent, a short film about two budding relationships in contemporary London. Pedro's script is kind of about identity and um, about the meaning that we find in, in our biographies, the stories that we tell each other, where we sit in that narrative and how it informs our relationships. He's taken people from all walks of life, different sexualities, different races, different cultures, and he's put them in the same environment, and it's about how you negotiate those relationships. It's about how you articulate and assert yourself when you need to. You know, you can be with someone who has very different views to yourself. Is that a good thing? Could you have a healthy debate about it? Or would it, would it ruin things between two people? People not trusting their instincts within a relationship and not really allowing themselves to relax into a relationship and trust themselves and that person. It's the growing pains, it's becoming one's own person and taking responsibility, just growing up really. Raven and Lorenzo are housemates and best friends. Lorenzo is a self-made man with quite conservative views on politics and capitalism and religion. Raven has leftist liberal values, but often finds herself unable to express her thoughts in a direct fashion. They're growing apart, basically, and they both have different interests, they both have taken different courses in life, and they're realizing that actually there's not so much in common anymore. And it's about how do we deal with those relationships, how do we negotiate them, and how do we move forward um, from them or with them. He's a film journalist. He's very passionate about the medium of film and the way film can communicate certain things socially, um, emotionally. So how it can connect people. She has um, a very vivid imagination and she sort of invents scenarios that she wished would have been the actual case. Because she's still finding herself in, in some ways and Theo kind of knows who he is they, they can kind of butt heads a little bit. She does that classic thing of when someone new comes into your life, what do you impose onto them? And also, what does she impose onto herself? Tom's a, a gap year student working in a cinema, saving up money to go traveling before university, and he's um, started a relationship with his boss, um, which comes with its own sort of baggage. Lorenz is a pretty complex character. He's, you know, had to rely on nobody but himself. That can make you pretty guarded and uh, and and hardened, but it all comes from a place of, of hurt. But all of those preconceptions are, are, are challenged, and I think um, Tom learns a lot about his own judgment of people and uh, some uh, prejudices that, that he might be holding on to, um, which might be blocking him from from finding what he wants. So what's going on with Sarah? What do you mean? Well, you haven't mentioned her all evening. Everything's fine. Well, how come she didn't come in tonight, then? Are you seeing anyone? No. See you soon, OK? What I'm aiming to do this time round is to expand upon some of the themes I already approached in those films. While we may not necessarily provide the answers to the issues at hand, that perhaps starting a conversation and a bit of reflection over them can become a quite a rewarding experience for the viewer. I come from a languages, literature, and overall storytelling background, as well as film festivals and all sorts of film events promoting independent cinema. In order to see this project come to life, we need your help, as it is very important for Pedro and myself to make sure that our team gets paid fairly for their time. You will find a series of rewards listed on this website, but we hope that ultimately you will join us in shedding light on these subject matters and starting at the base.